Welcome and thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to make Jolly Bee Chicken. And I know you're probably saying chicken, not chicken again. But yes, I love chicken because it's really a versatile piece of meat. There's so many ways that you can cook it. There's so many ways that you can make it taste. This one right here, I think you're going to love. Stick around. Okay, so here I've washed my chicken and cleaned it really well. So, I'm going to season it with Maggie Jugo. It's a seasoning sauce. I'm just going to shake some on here. I'm going to take my hands and we're going to mix it to make sure it's coated well. And this chicken is, is served with gravy. And I think on the end, I'm just going to make some gravy. I'm going to take some shortcuts. I'm not going to do it the long way with rounding the gravy, etc., etc. We're going to use gravy in the pack and uh, make it. It's going to be just as good, though. Mm-hmm. I'm going to set this chicken aside. Okay, so in this bowl... We're going to put together our, our uh, coating for our chicken. And with the cornstarch, I'm just measuring it because you want it to be about the equal amount of uh, flour as to a, mm, that was about it, as to a cornstarch. Wow, that's messy. So that's about a cup. And I'm going to use a cup of all-purpose flour. And you probably can use half any. I could have used half, but half that amount, but it's okay. I can use it later. So we're going to add in some five spice. And this is a, this is a teaspoon. About a half a teaspoon of red pepper. But, you know, do it to your own taste. This is just for me. Garlic powder. And some onion powder. I'm going to add some pepper, about a half a teaspoon, and some salt. About a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon, I'm sorry. We're just going to mix this together. Just mix it well. And meanwhile, I'm heating, heating my pan. Okay, we're going to add the chicken that we seasoned into the coating. Put it on in there. And do those few at a time and make sure that you cover the chicken very well. Take your time and get a lot of the coating on there. Not excessive. You want to dust a little bit off though. I want to put 
way too much. But it's about as much as it'll hold. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna put it here because we're gonna let it sit. Oh, so messy. We're gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and let the uh, flour and the cornstarch absorb into the chicken. And if it has too much, you know, stuck it all in, then we can dip it again in this uh, coating and let it sit again. Yeah, that's what we can do. So I'm going to finish these up and let them sit for 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see where we're at. Let me just say, when you're you covering um, your chicken with the coating, you know how the skin comes back. Well, just make sure you get up in there too, because you want, like I said, you want it to be coated. Coated well. We're gonna deep fry it. Okay. Okay, I let this sit about 20 minutes and see how it's absorbed. Some of the flour and the cornstarch. Well, I'm going to dip it again one more time and then I'm going to let it sit five minutes and then we're going to fry it up. Again, cover them really good. You don't have to do this twice if you don't want to. I just want to make sure that mine, mine are crunchy because somebody loves them that way. So I'm just going to double dip them, so to speak. Double dip. You can see what. I mean by soaked it up see in the back. I'm gonna cover it once again. Mm-hmm. smells so good it hasn't even cooked. <laughs> so I'm going to let it sit like five minutes and then into the hot grease. Save your coating mix because more likely than not you're going to want to make some more. Okay it's been about five minutes. I'm checking my oil. See how that's starting to cook. And it's ready darling. This chicken smells so good, you wouldn't believe how good it smells and it hasn't even cooked. I don't like to crowd my pan at all. So I'm just going to let those cook. No crowding, no crowding. It's been about four minutes. We're going to go in and... Oops, careful. Turn it over. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. I could have put a couple more pieces in there, but I'd rather not crowd my pan. Everybody needs room to do their thing. About four to five minutes on that side. You hear when your grease calms down like that and gets really quiet, that that can assure you that that your chicken is is done. And 
and that is crunchy, baby. Mm-hmm. We're gonna put our thighs in, skin side, skin side down first. quiet it's gotten. This chicken is ready. How pretty that is. going to make this gravy right quick and I told you we're going to make it, um, use a shortcut because you're browning up the flour etc 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 we're not going to do that right now so we're going to use a pack of uh, brown gravy mix and that's by McCormick's that's the one that I like <clears throat> But if you choose to make your own gravy, do that by all means. I'm just going to show you the flavor that that's good with uh, this chicken. It's actually um, Jolly Bee gravy. Everybody has their own interpretation, you know, should have their own interpretation to, to different recipes and whatnot. And this is mine. Keep stirring, don't stop. Did you want this to thicken? We're about there. Uh, Any time in gravy, if it gets too thick for you, all you have to do is just add a little more water. If it's cooked like this, you want to add hot water. But when you begin to prepare it, the one out of the pack, it's, it's, it's okay to use uh, cold water. So I'm going to take this and set it aside. So in this pan, I'm going to add some butter. Melbourne Moore. 
her and I think that was Luther. If I'm not mistaken. See, this is browning a little bit too fast. I'm going to turn that down. Raise that up. Just let the pan cool down a little bit. It's going to be so good on this chicken. I like a little drizzle here and a little drizzle there. Or you can just dip it. Just adding flavors to this gravy. And I have some mushrooms. And these are canned mushrooms because like I said, I'm taking a shortcut. Trying to get out of this kitchen. It doesn't matter really, you know, because I'm going to drain it. So I'm just going to throw all those on in there and get that flavor. I mean, I drain it. I'm sorry, I'm going to strain my gravy, which I'll do most all of the time anyway, but I don't want all these big chunks and pieces in there. So, um, yeah, we're going to drain all that out. Come on, butter. I didn't say it was hard smart, but I said it was good. You have to eat like this in moderation. I mean, you don't have to, but you do it like you want to do it. But I'm just saying, that would be a good thing. It smells delicioso. <laughs> Who said that? If you have children, I know you know. My grandbaby bore me out with that. I found myself watching the clock. It's time for... Door to explore and the brother, whatever his name was, I forget now. And here I have some garlic that I have uh, smashed. That's fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn that down. I'm going to let these soak for a few minutes. Yeah. Ooh, we it smells so good. That garlic is doing its thing already. So now, oh, excuse me. the gravy in it. just a minute, but we're going to need to let this simmer for at least about 10 or 12 minutes to get those flavors in here. This is quite potent too, so you add this a little at a time and then taste. Mm -hmm. This gravy is crazy good, I'm telling you. But now I'm going to drain it. I mean, strain it. I keep saying drain. See? 
let you see it. Delicious. really worth the effort and it doesn't take a lot. This is delicious. Bet you never had chicken like this before. Chicken with the gravy. Mm-mm. Gonna finish draining this. Straining. <laughs> this chicken is extra crunchy and it's flavorful. I know. Gonna just add some gravy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is so good. Hey, try it. You might like it. And thanks for hanging out with me. I had a good time. I hope you did too. And remember to pray. Then pray some more. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for you. Pray for them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Tap that bell if you haven't. Share with friends and family. And comment. I would love to hear from you. Well, until next time. That's it, and that's all. Love you. Later. Mm -hmm. Or you can dip it in like this. Right here. That's good. Mm.